Hey everybody, it's me. I just wanted to do this little intro because uh, I tied a few clips together and uh, it's regarding the sink and a couple other things and I have a little blooper in there too. And uh, But it's a little longer than usual so I just wanted to tell you that it is entertaining. So uh, if you're not a subscriber you should subscribe if you do like my videos and you want to see more in the future and uh, give me a thumbs up if you want uh, if you don't like the videos you don't have to watch it's okay I understand um, but anyway I'm gonna start the videos now and I'll see you later hey everybody it's me oh yes it's Friday TGIF so I get to stay out here late and uh, work on a few details of Frankie and one of the details is um, I hooked up my my faucet for my kitchen sink and I'll show you that in just a second but I wanted to show you that I um, put in some curtains and what I did was is I put a nail and then some short bungees and I'm gonna trim it or I might not trim it I don't know but there's the other one and those are the I had these I cut the bottom off of them uh, some long drapes and it just happens that I had these left and I found them and they already had the split you know so you can actually hang them yay look at my mess what a complete mess <clears throat> oh yeah I was gonna show you Ugh. oh man anyway this I found this for my drain for my sink so basically it'll stay closed and then when water goes through, it'll go through. Okay. Uh, so, basically, there's my sink. I put some silicone in there to fill those holes. And then, here's my, um, my sink thing. <laughs> my nozzle. And then there's my submersible. Uh, submersible oh my gosh I can't speak submersible pump 12 volt pump so basically that can go in my jerry can where is it right there and I already cut out the lid for that and put everything on but I wanted to show you <clears throat> how I hooked this up so basically the submers submersible pump came with three wires. I found out this yellow one is does not need to be used. And then there's a positive, <clears throat> which is brown, and then a negative, which is blue. So I added a wire to those. <clears throat> and the positive one goes to the accessory so the middle one the negative one goes to the ground and then I have an, a ground wire coming off of that going up and then I have the positive going out this top one here <clears throat> and they go up well I'm not gonna keep them like this but anyway, I just put it like this for now. And then they go down. And then the positive is hooked into that one right there. So I have, uh, dang it, brain fart. Anyway, when it gets late at night, I for, you know, I forget what I say and all that kind of, or I want to say. And then here's the negative bus bar, <clears throat> and I have the wire 
securely in right there. So, I'll show you how it works. <clears throat> so, let me go back here. Oh, I gotta turn it on. Ta-da! So, that is pretty strong. Yeah. So anyway. So, that, I'm going to put the nozzle um, seat back here, or maybe right in the middle, and then I'm going to be able to pull it out, and I found this rack. Um, it's just one that goes in the shower, and I rigged it up here so I can put a couple things up there, and uh, I don't know, maybe I can set the nozzle right there and it'll go into the bowl. I don't know. I'll figure something out. I always do. I always rig something up. <clears throat> So, anyway, I hope you got what I was saying, <laughs> or what I showed you. Sorry, I'm a little tired, but I want to stay up and I want to finish a few things, because, man, I just want to be ready. I want to be ready to get out of here. Here you go. <clears throat> I have things rigged up right now let's try this the pumps down there and this is the drain going into the same bucket here we go That's cool. Oh, sorry. I'm not even filming. Oh, so this thing is not draining. Uh-oh. We have a leak. Oh, no. Ah, this thing is too rigid. have a bend in it. Come on, you stinking thing. <laughs> Are you guys still there? <laughs> so, yeah. That was a little bit of a fail. So this stuff, it kept closed. And uh, so it was closed. So what it did was is it went up and came out the top here and then leaked didn't leak that bad though. Dang. But anyways, that's where I'm going to put my faucet. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Okay, everybody. I just uh, secured this. Uh... And I haven't secured the bowl yet, but I got all my piping in. And I put a little cover on that from that hole that I had to redrill. Um, 
So I got water in my jerry can. And uh, I was running it. So let me turn it on. Hold on. Pretty cool. And this is where it's coming out. And I'm going to actually, I'm going to make a mount so I could put a gray water tank right there. Some type of gray water bucket or something. Sorry for the noise. They're doing some uh, leaf blowing. So yeah, that's my little kitchen. So the previous hole, if you saw the other video, if you didn't see the other video, I drilled the hole right there, but it ended up hitting the steel bar on the trailer. So there's no way I'm going to be drilling through that steel. So... Um, mess. So yeah, the next thing I have to do is my, uh, put up, um, I have these L brackets. I'm going to put those, attach those to here so my stove will stay where it's supposed to. So, anyway. So that's my setup. Now I have to clean and uh, I'm going to be hiding those wires. So anyway, so I might tie this video into another video I shot the other night that I haven't uploaded yet. It's regarding the sink. So um, yeah. So live life to the fullest. I'll see you next time. Bye.